Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn five new Excel formulas and functions. So without delay, let's move to number one formula. So here I have sales table of three offices. So what we have to do, we have combined all this data in a single table. So how we can do that? So here I will be using V stack formula. So let's do that is equal to V stack. It is asking for array one and then array two and so on. So first array, I will pass this complete table and then I will fix the range by pressing F4 comma. The second array would be this one. Again, I will fix by pressing F4 and then third array would be this data, third of this data and we'll fix it by pressing F4, close the bracket, hit the enter. So you can see all the data has been combined in one table. Now let's move to formula two. So second formula, we have H stack. This is called horizontal stack. So let me explain you that how this is going to work. This is going to add all the columns horizontally. Okay, so suppose if I'm selecting this complete table, okay, and then this table and then third one. In that case, it will combine all the table this way. But here we can skip the month of second table and third table. So let's see how to do that. Here, I will write the formula is equal to H stack array one. In array one, I will pass the first table completely. Now we'll fix this range by pressing F4 comma. Second array, I don't need in this month because already I have selected the month here. Okay, in the first table, I will select these two columns and I will press F4 to fix the range comma. Again, I will select these two columns from third table. I will press F4 to fix the range close the bracket, hit the enter. So now you can see here we have all the months, products and their total sales. Again, the products and their total sales and so on. Now let's move to third formula. In this, I'm going to explain you two formulas like choose columns and choose rows. Okay. So what it will do if we choose columns, so it will be providing the data of selected columns. Okay. And if we choose rows, so it will provide the data of selected rows. Okay. Let me tell you how this is going to work. So here I will put is equal to choose columns. Now here it is asking for array. So in this, we will pass the complete table and we'll press F4 to freeze the range. Now here it is asking for column number. Okay. So which column we need? So first column, I need one, column two, I need three and column four, I need total sales. So that is five. We'll close the bracket, hit the enter. So you can see it has provided first column that is sales ID, third column product name and fifth column total sales. Okay. Similarly, we can use choose rows. Here I will write the formula is equal to choose rows. Now here I'm passing the array. So here I will select only data range. So here I'm not selecting the headers. We'll press F4 to freeze the range comma row number. So which rows you need. So here suppose I need first then fifth and then 10 and the 15. Okay. Close the bracket at the enter. So you can see first, fifth, tenth, and fifteenth. It has retrieved all four rows. I hope you understand how these new formulas are working, and this is very simple to understand. Okay. So only the thing is that you need to apply your logic that how you want to retrieve the data from the table. Okay. So accordingly, you can change parameters of the formula. Okay. Now. Without delay, let's move to the next. So we have next formula that is two column. Here you can see we have four tables. So is top five employees winners. 
similarly we have for west north and south so we have five employees who all are winner of all four zones okay now we have to combine all the winners name into a single table so how we can do that either we can do copy paste so that will of course take time so here i'll be using a formula that is to call so how to use that we'll write the formula here is equal to to call array so i will pass this complete array i will select all the cells okay i will press f4 to freeze the range comma here it is asking for parameter either 0 1 2 3 so here i will choose one we need to ignore the blanks so you can see here in between the range we have blank cells okay so i'll be ignoring the blank cells we'll close the bracket and hit the enter so you can see all 20 names have been combined here okay so this is very simple how to use that only the thing is that you need to understand how you can use this formula so completely logical and you can easily use this formulas okay now we will move to the next formula that is drop and tick so we have here a sales table in that we have five columns sales id country product name quantity and total sales so how we are going to use take and drop let me explain you first take that means whatever the number of rows we are going to keep that number we have to provide in the argument or you can say in the parameter and drop like whatever the number you are going to provide it will drop that number and the remaining it will keep okay so let's do this is equal to take array so i'm passing this complete array will fix the range by pressing f4 comma rows so how many rows you want to take so from top i need 10 rows comma columns so here i need all the columns so i will not pass any argument here so just remove this and close the bracket hit the enter so you can see from top it has selected 10 rows only so here header will be also considered as a first row okay so this is going to directly give you the rows okay if you don't want header in that case you can select the data from p001 to the complete end okay now what if we need only few columns in that case i'll write here once again the same formula is equal to take the complete data only i don't need headers we'll fix by pressing f4 comma rows i need only five rows comma columns i need first three columns okay close the bracket hit the enter so you can see here i have five rows and first three columns similarly we are going to use draw here i will write the formula is equal to draw array again i will pass the data only not the header i will press f4 to fix the range comma rows how many rows i have to drop so from top i am going to drop three rows okay and columns here also if you are not providing the column parameter in that case it will retrieve all five columns okay otherwise if you give the column numbers so it will remove first those columns so suppose if i am removing first two columns so i will pass two so it will drop two columns close the bracket at the end now you can see it has re retrieved only column third product name fourth quantity and fifth total sales similarly if you want all the columns so simply you can use drop select all the data press f4 to fix the range comma rows i need uh, after five okay so first five i'll drop comma columns i need all so i'll not provide any parameter for that close the bracket hit the end so you can see here all the columns we have but data we retrieve from six so first five we have dropped here okay so i hope this video is informative for you so you can like the videos you can share and you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you will be getting all the upcoming videos notification keep learning keep growing thank you for watching have a good day